Winners of their last nine straight, the Spartans own an average margin of victory of just under 40 points in those games. And now, the postseason begins. De La Salle is seeded as the overall top team in the North Coast Section Division I playoffs. It's a spot the Spartans are accustomed to as DLS has taken home the last 29 out of 31 section titles. But there's still time to relax for the Spartans and hang out with one of the most famous DLS alumni ever, that being former number one recruit in the nation and recently retired NFL player DJ Williams. Uh, you know, the culture out here is amazing. Uh, you know, the culture staff is still doing great. Um, I'm just excited to be home. Two years ago, DJ started a nonprofit called Home Team Closet, and the idea goes like this. When pro athletes receive extra merchandise from sponsors, DJ has bins in NFL locker rooms and encourages players to donate that excess to Home Team Closet. And in turn, DJ donates them back to young people. Today is Williams' fifth such event, with student athletes from DLS and El Cerrito High School filling up their bags and a meal from Lena's Soul Food Kitchen to fill up their stomachs. When I came here, you know, I was brought in, you know, they took me in like family at De La Salle. Uh, they made me feel comfortable and, uh, you know, people helped me. And, you know, hopefully what my goal is, you know, to help these young men out. To me, it's nice to hear somebody get back to the community and actually showing that they show faith instead of just saying it, actually acting upon what they say. I don't know who gonna wear these. <laughs> DJ just retired from the NFL this year after 900 tackles in the league. He was a first round pick. He has a couple of 100 tackle seasons on his resume, but most memorable around these parts are the days Williams was the number one high school recruit in the nation at De La Salle. When he was a freshman, I, I thought for sure he was 18 years old. I've never seen a kid that big in my entire life. But there was one game we played where he literally carried the ball for four times, four touchdowns, Kids literally did not want to tackle. He didn't get that. He actually didn't get touched, and we just it's 28 to nothing. We took him out. But I mean, that's the way. Some guys just like no thanks. DJ Williams dominated well at DLS. The 2015 Spartan contingent continues that tradition today. Overwhelming opponents. The more things change at De La Salle, the more they stay the same. Much like the lineman drills at practice, the same drills, day after day, year after year, produce the core of the Spartans. That famous lineman technique. We do about three things and that's it. We do sled, one-on-ones, and two-on-twos. And that's really all we really do. Our, our president actually <laughs> makes a joke because he always he always rolls out for the first day of practice asking how the boys look and he comes out to the last day of practice and the past couple of years he's, he has sort of a running joke he's like you guys are doing the same thing it's like yeah we are the line, yeah th those are some of my best friends I love those guys you know without them without them you know me and Tuan and the, the rest of the backs you know would, wouldn't be anything without them so Everything's done in redundancy and a lot so that it becomes really second nature to those kids and then we can fine tune stuff. What's, what's your guys' goal? To be as high as possible? What was that? Both of you guys, butt came up, all over extended. You know, our technique is simple, but it's really difficult to master. And, you know, we are. We're, we're technicians. One standout on both sides of the line this season is Blake Wardy. We caught up with Blake at the beginning of the year as he came off a junior season regarded as a backup. He's now a two-way starter. He starts right tackle and he's one of our interior D linemen and uh, he's a f <laughs> unanimous first team all-leaguer and he, and he deserved it. Well, I was just expecting, like, I, of course, expecting state championship and I just expected to come out and hit people, do what the De La Salle linemen have always done. And what is that? Go out and hit people. <laughs> That to me is De La Salle line play. That's a kid last year who just grinded every practice, probably hated every minute of it because there's no playing time, you know, real playing time. And this year, man, he turns into a guy that we just can't do without. The Spartans are benefiting from Wardy's business-like approach, and they'll need it next week for the start of the section playoffs. And that's the lineman for De La Salle, all business. Or, of course, when, when they're not. You're editing all this, right? Yeah. So boss is standing behind you and so silly. Four years ago, Coach Jacoby came to me and I was like, man, 
<laughs> Four years ago, he came up to me. He's like, hey, what's your name, son? How long he's, like a, he's like a giant teddy bear. If you poke him, he just starts laughing. Come on, dude. Get it. <laughs> I knew from that day on, we'd, this was going to be my guy. We'd be together forever. You still have a long way to go. You're like the tiny acorn that becomes the giant oak tree. The tiny acorn. That becomes, that means you got just, a long way to go. He just compared me. To a tiny oak to tree. To a tiny yeah. acorn. That becomes the giant I oak feel like tree. I'm like a, a little pit a shrub. Bull. A pit bull. A yeah. shrub.